This is a brief tutorial to help you make uh, stir bars for our chemistry lab. And on, on one of the middle tables, we've got glass rods. They're like glass dowels. And we have steel files. And we have rulers. Step one, take the glass dowel and mark a point on the dowel that's about nine inches long. Nine inches is a very good stirring bar length. Step two, take your file, place it on that nine inch mark, and on the very pointy edge of the file, rub it back and forth until it makes a groove that the file stays in. And then try to keep, you can see the mark that I made right there, and try to keep making that groove around in a ring and when you've got the groove about halfway around you can move that to the end of your table and it should really easily break. Step two, go to your lab bench, fire up your Bunsen burner, and now you want to soften the ends of these glass stir bars. And you'll soften them by putting them at the very top of the inner blue flame, where it's about 1100 degrees Celsius. Keep the glass rolling around, and the glass will slowly turn into a fluid and soft soften, so it'll be safe to use. Now, after about two or three minutes of rolling the glass rod around in the fire, in the, in the Bunsen burner flame. The tip is really soft and it'll cool down and, and be safe to touch. I would then flip it over and do the other side as well. Glass is an exceptional insulator, so uh, you shouldn't have to be worried about the heat traveling up the glass stirring rod while you're turning it in the Bunsen flame. Um, but you will want to be very careful about touching where the Bunsen flame has been burning because that'll be 1100 Celsius and it'll burn you. If you want to wear gloves today, we've got a few sets of heat resistant gloves that uh, we can let some of you borrow. Otherwise, if you're worried about burning your hands, then maybe this isn't the task for you. When you're all done making your stir bar, we have three bins full of glass tubing and uh, stir bars that are just too short to be functional. And so we'd like you to have an opportunity to bend some glass and play with it and see, you know, you can make hearts or stars or little tiny Santa Clauses or reindeer or menorah uh, if you would like to and um, put them in or give them to people for the holidays. Here's an example of what you can do with the short stir bars that are too, too short to, uh, to be stir bars in the future. If you heat it in the middle, the, the weight of the glass itself will bend the glass. And you just pull it out. Again, like my, my fingers aren't feeling any heat in the glass at all um, where I'm holding. Well, of course, if I touched it where it was bending, I'd be burned. So be really, really careful. And have fun with this one. That's all I got. Have a good day.